should be noted that the majority of respondents to our consultation exercise, whether individual respondents or organisational ones, agreed that for young people, rehabilitation should be given special emphasis. Um, a majority of the public believe that rehabilitation is the single most important thing Scottish courts should be trying to achieve when sentencing young people. And that came out of a nationally representative study carried out on our behalf by Ipsos Mori. So um, that accords, that view of the public accords with the direction of travel uh, of the Sentencing Council. Um, the idea being that because of their lack of maturity, cognitive maturity in particular, and the inability necessarily to think through the consequences of their actions and so on, young people are less culpable in many respects um, for their offending behaviour. And in most cases, they should be provided with the opportunity to change, to move away from the past offending behaviour, wherever that is possible. So a focus on rehabilitating them uh, through the sentencing process uh, helps give the opportunity to stop them committing further offences. And that would be beneficial to society as a whole, obviously. Um, and so we felt that for these reasons, it was appropriate to place more emphasis on rehabilitation for a young person than any of the other purposes of sentencing. But that doesn't mean that the other purposes of sentencing aren't still relevant to the young person. And we did address that in the course of the consultation exercise because some of our um, respondents expressed concerns that in the guideline, we hadn't sufficiently made it clear that other considerations, such as punishment, protection of the public and so on, continue to apply. But, but they do continue to apply. We aren't just saying only thing for young people is rehabilitation. So we took that into account and we amended the draft um, specifically to refer to these other purposes because they're all in the principles and purposes of sentencing guideline and that continues to apply. Um, so th th that's the, those are the main reasons. Um, another element of it was and this features in a, a number of different um, aspects of the guideline that the sentence on a young person can be disproportionate compared to uh, an older person. Uh, and that we have to bear in mind, for example, that young people, they're more likely to be in education. Um, they're more likely to have less secure employment, less secure housing prospects, and the sentence can be more disruptive in the long term um, in its impact on a young person than on an older person. So essentially, um, that was the, the rationale. It, it was um, logically based on the evidence.